Going abroad is a wonderful chance for you to gain some experience with cross-cultural learning. Sometimes this will feel natural and easy, and sometimes it may push you out of your comfort zone, which can be very uncomfortable. Going abroad may be the first time that you will really feel like a fish out of water. Some of the differences between yourself and the people around you will be easy to spot, like language, food culture, or clothing. Some differences may be harder to see, and you will only get a feel for them the longer that you're in this different culture. This may make you feel isolated and very different from the people around you, but fear not. This is a great learning opportunity. If you are willing to lean into your discomfort and learn about the culture around you, you can really learn a lot about your own cultural context. This is why it is cross-cultural. In fact, it is normal for you to experience a wide range of emotions during your time abroad. We sometimes refer to this experience as culture shock. This is where you might start to notice those surface level differences and it might feel a little uncomfortable. It can also be where you start to notice things like, they don't have the cereal I like here. Frustrations like that may seem inconsequential, but it's still important to recognize them. Here we are in the depths of the culture shock wave, where those deeper cultural phenomena may start to settle in and lead to some bouts of homesickness and even depression. It can be really difficult to feel like everything about the way you live your life is different from everyone around you. If you are able to work through this phase, though, it can really lead to some wonderful insight and growth. You may start to see things from the host country's point of view. Whether you accept the way things are or not, it is important to at least have that perspective. Here, you'll feel assimilated into your new culture. This is likely going to feel like a synthesis between your experiences at home and your experiences abroad. This cross-cultural understanding gives you a unique and lasting view into the world and is something that you can carry with you throughout your life. Here, you may feel excitement about returning back home, seeing your dog, your family, your friends again. The culture shockwave doesn't end here, though. Here, you may actually start to feel some reentry shock as you were very used to the way your life was while you were abroad. Something else to consider is that this can actually feel worse than your initial culture shock because you feel like it should be easy to sync back up with your old way of life. It's important to remember, though, that your time abroad can really change you. The more resistant you feel about coming back to your old way of life could signify that your time abroad made a deep impression on you, which is nothing to shy away from. Here, you start to settle back into your routines and rhythms back home. The things that had been bothering you bother you less. Finally, the end. You can piece together what you learned and how you changed while you were abroad with your life at home, becoming another globally oriented citizen on Villanova's campus.